Hi everybody, this is Ron Ganja Man, and today is January the 30th, 2011, and uh, what we're dealing with now is a 2000 uh, Chevy Silverado 1500 with the 5.3 liter engine. Now, uh, guys, I'm telling you what, uh, you're about to hear a story that's probably going to surprise you, and you may be doubtful of it, but that's okay. I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the sheet originally. This is uh, the numbers, what it was. Well, here's what it's doing right now, okay? It's starting to pick up a little bit as it sits there in idle. The cat's not quite hot anymore, uh, but that's all right because uh, we made he made the zero list, there, didn't you? Yep. All right, which means he was putting out zero hydrocarbons. You see, it's ticking down. It'll drop back down to zero. We just had to restart it. Zero oxides and nitrogen, uh, point three zero three percent on carbon monoxide and oxygen content at four uh, percent. Air fuel ratio eighteen point two to one. Now. This vehicle had some issues. Now, I'm just going to let the man introduce himself, and I told him he can talk all he wants to because this is a story that that you guys need to hear. All right, would you care to introduce yourself, sir? Yeah, my name is John Lewis, and I actually work out of Tucson, but I live in Payson, Arizona. Right. And my 2000 Chevy, um, it's been dying for years. I have put a lot of miles on it. It's got about 100 and 57,000 little over miles and I've done a lot of hard driving on it pulling a lot of weight and its mileage used to be 20 to 21 miles per gallon when it was new because that's when we got it and now it was down to 10 to 13 at best and that's highway miles in town I'm gonna say eight miles to the gallon maybe less mm -hmm. um, that was the power on it. I understand it, it was a concern. It used to be very weak, and I had somebody trying to talk me into changing catalytic converters and muffler yesterday, and I had no idea I was going to run into this guy. His name's Ron, and I met him at my cousin's birthday party, and somebody said, go talk to this guy. So I did, and that same day he got me out to his house to work on my truck, and he said he could improve my fuel mileage. I haven't actually seen evidence of fuel mileage change yet, but the power and performance difference of my truck, it has more power now than it has ever had, even as a brand new truck with a 5.3 liter V8 engine in it. I'm pretty familiar with what horsepower and all that stuff is. I used to work on old cars. The truck is phenomenal. The tires spin going around corners. It hasn't <laughs> broke the tires loose in two years at least. Um, it used to be a fairly powerful truck. It carries an extra thousand pounds or more of tools on it, ladder rack and everything else. I can't believe what difference in performance it's done to my truck. I'm going to be leaving here and driving from Mesa to Tucson today and it usually takes about three eighths, a little bit more of a tank of gas to get from Mesa to Tucson two-hour drive. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just ready for amazing changes in fuel mileage too. <laughs> I don't even have to touch, hardly touch my accelerator pedal and it maintains 45 miles an hour. If I give it very much at all, it, it goes too fast. <laughs> so so, <laughs> so I'm, I'm crazy about what he, whatever he's done. I've told every person I've run into since last night. That, Not a lot of people. But all right. Now, you saw what I did. Yeah. Right. Okay. Did I add any parts at all to your car? No. No, no parts. No, nothing. Nothing was added. No. Have you? Do you have to add anything to your gas or anything like that? I mean, uh, I put a this? couple malt balls in my gas tank and a little transmission fluid. <laughs> uh, a little transmission fluid in my engine uh -huh. as well. Uh -huh. But that's just for but cleaning. But you were getting the power purpose. beforehand, yeah, weren't you? Yeah, I did. Okay. It, was, it happened last night after I drove it the first time. And it was before you put anything in the gas Correct. or anything at all. Okay. Correct. Yeah, because we don't. All right. Guys, that's country boy wisdom, okay? You want to clean your valves and, and condition your fill pump and all that. Uh, put cork, uh, Castrol brand transmission fluid in your gas tank and let it run through you guys. You, you won't, you won't, it won't uh, negatively affect your car at all. And as a matter of fact, what you'll find is in, in about a week's time, uh, by the time you run that tank out, your engine will run smoother. The same thing with your crankcase. Just when it gets about a half quart low, dump some transmission fluid in there. And you'll see that your valves will start operating better too, and that's what he's talking about doing. Uh, right. we, because of the it, he came it's in. Already affected it. Yep. My engine is not running rough anymore. Oh, cool, cool. 
So, so see, here's the issue. He came in with a check engine light for uh, a catalytic converter inefficiency, and that's why they were telling him he was going to have to have catalytic converter and stuff and muffler system uh, replaced on that. But cleared the code. Of course, it came back. But what's happened is carbon buildup in that in that system was just oh, God, it was filthy, wasn't it? All right. And what the mothballs are for is to help burn some of that out, and and it will, it sure will. So hopefully, I did another vehicle today that uh, uh, a '98 Dodge Dakota that was also showing the same error code. And the people were going to have to replace the catalytic converter and all that to get it fixed, probably the oxygen sensors too. And uh, when I got done with the groove, the error code did not come back. Uh, his did when we cleared it out, but it's not it's not going to keep you staying there. It's going to come back to natural. It'll help your catalytic converter work better. So. Uh, how much was it going to cost you to get your exhaust system squared away? About four hundred to five hundred dollars. Uh, the groove was three fifty. Well, which do you think was the better deal? Um, right now, it's a pretty good deal that I got from you because <laughs> I haven't given you any money yet. So I guarantee you, I will come back here and pay the man for what he's done, and I'm going to have him do it to my other vehicles. And I'm going to—I've actually considered having paying for it myself to have it done to my mother and my sister's vehicle because. I believe the fuel mileage will come just by the extra power. You have more power, you don't use as much fuel. That's 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 unless you're hot rod it. That's the truth. That's um, the truth. Because we sure didn't mess with the fuel delivery at all. Right. All right. Never so guys, there you have it. Uh, with another testimony. Is it a good thing? It's a great right. thing. What would you say to other Silverado owners out there? Have it done. You won't beat it. You'll be so amazed that you just you won't have a clue. I'm serious. That's not no lie. Right. You see, guys, a little groove can make a big difference. So go to GadgetManGroove.com right now and click on Get Grooved and get the process started. I promise you will be glad you did. Everybody is. And you can walk away with that kind of smile on your face. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. So God bless you all richly and warmly. Remember, smile for a stranger. You will both be glad you did. Bye-bye.